What's up? We haven't done some news stories in a couple days. Oh yeah, let's get to it. Sunday morning, why not? I'm gonna fire up a couple. We're gonna do a couple and throw on my channel a little later on. We got one right here called Louisiana Cops Investigate for Pather of uh, Beating Black Men. DOJ means Department of Justice Investigation of Louisiana, the Louisiana State Police. Let's get to it. Police. That's right. They are being investigated by DOJ wow. amid mounting evidence that the agency has a pattern of turning a blind eye on the beatings of mostly black men, wow. including the 2019 arrest of Ronald Green that led to his death. Uh, if you need a reminder, here is the video. Here we go. Aaron, reminder, viewer discussion is advised. Let me see you. There's no audio at this point. Yeah, do you see that part? There are, yeah, they're kicking him, punching him. That's the fucking bullshit. Here, it is fucking um, bullshit. And so DOJ is conducting this pattern. And Louisiana is the same state that passed the blue line uh, uh, laws, man. You can't that there film have been them been on the screen. Cases, but they including Green's case. Fuck Louisiana where cops. Louisiana State Police appear to be turning a blind eye. And this is also one of those first actions out there where they're looking at statewide law enforcement agencies. And they haven't done that in more than two decades. Also, this investigation is well. uh, like What I it said, is, is it's also we following an 18 law. news or investigation you go out there the that really and exposed you this they will pattern arrest practice you here. And, take you to jail. and what we, we've been able to see so far is that in some cases there. that troopers were basically omitting uses of force yeah. reports. You saw them and also in other cases, him. they were seeking to justify they're their actions. They were even taking them the guys on the ground and not even moving. All of these excuses that we've often heard law enforcement use. And so this is one of those things where we truly do hope that DOJ is going to do its job as the top cops and federal law enforcement agency that can provide some oversight to how this state police department in Louisiana is treating individuals, particularly black that, men. I'm glad who are the being Department of Justice is, is the best game. This so I think it's important uh, for anyone who's involved in elections at any level going forward to make sure that unless a candidate supports police reform in any type of, you know, tactful, effective way, you know, creating a database so we know what types of backgrounds these officers have, you know, just enhancing security, uh, lessening the access to deadly weapons that they have, whatever it is, unless a candidate is on board with these policies and let these, unless these policies are on the forefront uh, of their campaign, then don't vote for them, don't support them. Because the reality is, is that law enforcement has too much authority and too much access to force uh, for us to continue to allow people to be in elected positions who don't support change. And so that's just, you know, my just uh, last thoughts on just this whole subject uh, for today is that 
for people who are involved in elections, make sure that the candidates have police reform on the forefront of their campaigns, because if not, this it won't change. Absolutely. It's not going to change. And we're going to continue to get the excuses that we do from law enforcement agencies. And one of those excuses is the thought that effectively, hey, there's no reason why necessarily that we are uh, arresting black people more often. And there is. It's called racism. One thing we know from Louisiana is that 60 percent of the state police is using force uh, against black people, but they're only 33 percent of Louisiana population. Yet 67% of the people that the police are using force against, those numbers don't add up. The numbers aren't numbering. But what is numbering, as far as I'm concerned, is DOJ hopefully holding all of the state well, law enforcement agencies accountable and actually doing something. And so I am very happy that they decided to take this step. And then get away with this shit like that. And then get away with this shit like that. And then get away with this shit like that. And then get away with this shit like that. And then get away with this shit like that. But I do hope that there's an outcome that will lead to actual change and consequences. Yeah. And this is another cow. This is another case of Happy Fuck the Cops Day, Blue Lies Murder. With this Adam out here, my job. Peace out.